We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. Welcome to prime time, bitch! <laughs> hey, welcome to Conspiracy Dummy, the conspiracy podcast that gives you wet dreams and nightmares. Um, tonight, I'm not Double D, I'm Eminem, not the white rapper, I'm the white creeper, the shape of evil, the babysitter killer, aka Michael Myers. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Joining me on the podcast, we have the camp slasher, the masked brute. The hockey puck don't give a fuck goalie. Yeah. Jason Voorhees, a.k.a. Mr. Williams. What's good, homie? Hey, what's up? What's up? Glad to be back. What are we talking about today, fool? Tonight, man, we're doing that. It's a Halloween special, bro. Um, Try to make it as special as we can, but shit. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to try. Yeah. It's my favorite holiday, bro. I don't know about you. Is it your favorite holiday or what is your favorite holiday, I should ask? Um... Shit, that's a great question. Uh, maybe a tie between Christmas and Fourth of July, probably. Fourth of July and Christmas, that's cool. Because yeah, most of the time, those those holidays coincide with most of my friends and family getting together, and that's what I really appreciate about mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I guess you're right. But those two holidays, man, they got nothing on Halloween. Um, yeah, yeah Halloween is pretty cool, man. It's uh, it's one of my favorite. Um, it's fun. A lot of mystery to it. Um, it's a little bit of an escapism, you know what I mean? You can have a little role playing and shit, cosplay and shit, you know what I mean? I don't know so much about the origins of Halloween, like the whole thing about it. Maybe we could do a whole episode another time, maybe next year and shit. Um, but yeah, because that would be a deep dive in and of itself. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um, but you know, it's just all in good fun, man. Um, but tonight we're, you know. Last year, we talked about the classical Universal Monsters um, for the Halloween special. And now today, we're going to be talking about the 80s slashers. Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Freddy Krueger and shit. (laughs) Yeah, that burnt pizza-looking motherfucker ain't here tonight. Um, Yeah. Man, fuck Freddy Krueger. Yeah, man, fuck that. We fucking sent that fool to bed. (sighs) He dead. Uh, He dead. He dead. Um... Yeah, but, uh, you know, today we're going to be talking about these films, bro. These classic films and shit. These classic, iconic fucking uh, slashers, murderers, villains, whatever you want to call them. The boogeyman. Um, They all have their nicknames and shit. We'll get into it. The hash-slinging slasher. Hell yeah. And um, shit, dude. You know what? Just a quick shout out. You know what came before these three characters we're going to be talking about today? In, like, um... In the films. mm. In the films, as far as like hacker slashers, just characters? like yeah, like the those kind of killer slasher films and shit. Uh, we talking like long, long before that, long or? ago, like in the seventies. Oh, because um, the first one we're gonna get into, Halloween, came out in nineteen seventy eight. Mm. But there's another motherfucker that came out before, and I want to give a quick shout out to that. No, I don't know. I don't know. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that is. Came okay. out in 1974 or something like that. Really? Yeah. Damn. Years before. Yeah, shout out to Leatherface. But yeah, we're not going to be talking about that fucking chainsaw lunatic. We're going to be talking about these three. Starting off with Michael Myers, man. Halloween. Like I said, it's a 1978 film directed by John Carpenter, bro. Mm, John Carpenter. He's a great director. He's directed so many great films. Fuck uh, yeah. Big Trouble, Little China, The Thing. Uh, Escape from New York. Um, Dude, that I mean, shit's dope. All those three, bro. Awesome as fuck. It, there's so, the, the list is so long. Uh, he's got a lot of great movies, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, the... the uh, I actually rewatched that the other weekend, and it was pretty good. What, looking back at it now... Yeah. <clears throat> it's always a classic, but in my opinion, it was a little slow. Yeah, a little campy, a little slow. No but, blood, bro. It's like you yeah, know, and he kills slow and, too. You know, right? What I mean? And that, and I think that was the thing, the trippy thing back then. Yeah, was like there wasn't any of that. You, you didn't see his face. 
Yeah. It was no, you know. You still blood. haven't seen his face. Nobody really knows how he kind of looks underneath that mask. I think. Yeah. No. No killing or anything like that. You do see him as a child, and that's where it starts no, off. You know. No. You see, there's a scene in the original. Yeah. Where, yeah. Um. Where, they fucking where Jamie Lee Curtis is. Uh, it's like near the end, and she's being attacked by him in the house, and they stumble out from a bedroom into the hallway, and she like rips his mask mask off. Uh, and, and reveals who he is, and he has ki- kind of a distorted face. Like it's really not, like in my opinion, it's really not that bad, you yeah. know, compared to how you know, like Jason Voorhees looked. But yeah, no, you yeah. see him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right. Oh uh, yeah, been a while. So I, I need to rewatch that movie. Maybe this homework. Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Um. So Michael Myers, man. Uh, um. Michael Audrey Myers. Um, he's an uh, emotionless mute serial killer and who at the age of six murdered his older sister on Halloween night. Um, and then he was later put into a mental institution where he escaped. Mm. And that's like the first film where it's all about. He's coming back for vengeance. Um, I do, I do remember a little bit about the movie. I need to rewatch it. You're right. But, um, they've had so many, so many runoffs. Like all I do know is like, it's not as gory or anything like that. There's no blood. Like I said. Yeah. And, um, I don't know, man. It's, it's a good film though. I do like it. Jamie Lee Curtis, the screen queen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's more of a suspenseful film than anything. It's not like today's practice. You know, today's films are, yeah. You know, pop scares or it's the OG um, too. You know what I mean? But like, it's the least of my favorite out of this list. Well, apparently the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the OG, but yeah, well, yeah. As that's far true, as yeah. you know, hacker slashers are yeah, concerned, uh, yeah. I think I, out of these three, yeah, yeah, I think Michael Myers is would probably be up there. Um, yeah. Have you seen the new Michael Myers? The Halloween ends. Mm-mm. I did, bro. I heard. And then I, I gotta things. say, it it sucked. It, it's not as good. It's, yeah, I was about to say, I heard things. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. You would think it should have just gone out with the bank, but. Or a, a fucking slash. Well, the silly thing for me is like. I know. Because how can you keep going on with that shit? You know what I mean? I think they, that's what they were trying to do. Maybe making that new. Well, you haven't seen it, right? No. Spoiler alert. Well, there's some fucking dude in there. They're trying to make a new <clears throat> killer out of him. I don't know. But. Like a copycat kind of shit. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Well, the thing that, that doesn't make sense to me is that um, the whole plot line of that was to kill Michael Myers at the end. Like, we're this is the end. We're putting an end to it. Yeah. You know, yada, yada. But that, you know, what are they going to do? Just stop the Michael Myers series? You know, it, yeah. that doesn't mean people in like 50 years are going to try to pick that back up. But or, that fucker's probably like 70 or something. Like, I don't know how old he is right now. He's, yeah. a, he's probably fucking old as fuck right now, bro. The Michael Myers. Um, yeah, but uh, speaking of copycats, uh, <laughs> Friday the 13th, man. Jason was kind of like a ripoff. He's the next character we're going to be getting into, man. But, um, you know, after the success of Halloween, everybody was jumping on that bandwagon, bro. Like, we got to come up with a new slasher film. Yeah, and Jason Voorhees was that guy. And uh, Friday the 13th blew the fuck up. Mm. And Sean S. Cunningham was the director. And then, um, and it was made in 1980, bro. So um, what's your thoughts about Friday the 13th? I like that character. I like him more than Michael Myers, even though he's kind of more like a ripoff of this other character. Um... And I, <clears throat> it's hard to say because I like, I like the concept of Michael Myers more than Jason, but mm. I like the Jason movies more than I like the Michael Myers movies. Oh, interesting. Because um, it's kind of the same concept, but to me, Michael Myers just seems scarier for whatever reason. But I love the, you know, brutalness of Friday, the Friday the 13th series and how yeah, they yeah, portray yeah. Jason. One one of my favorite scenes of all time is, yeah, I don't know if I could ever find something that tops this. I think it's in Jason X. There's a scene where, like, in the ship or whatever, he grabs his chick yeah. and by the back of her hair and dips her face into a sink of liquid nitrogen, you know, until her face freezes. And when it, her face freezes, he pulls her out and slams her face on the counter 
and her face shatters into a thousand pieces. Damn, dude, that's crazy. I was like, oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking Friday the Thirteenth films, like twelve, I think. Yeah, I heard they're gonna come up with the Thirteenth soon. There is thirteen Halloween films. There's a lot, bro, and I think like nine or yeah, nine or eight. Yeah, nine <coughs> Freddy the uh, Krueger films. Um, that's interesting. Let me see. Uh, my bad, bro. Were you gonna say something? I was gonna. I, I didn't. I was gonna hop back. Go for it. But uh, that I wanted to touch on. Um, did you see the Rob Zombies Halloween? Um. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking dope. I seen the second one too, the sequel. Yeah, I think there's two, right? I don't know. Yeah. I know he did one. I don't know if he did two. To be yeah, honest, yeah, they're pretty good. I like it. I like it. Okay. I wonder, did he direct any Jason Voorhees movies? I bet you he would. No, nah, well, well, he should. He's Seems a good like director. Some, yeah. uh, I do like him. Um, yeah, like I said, man, Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees are very similar. They both have white mask. They both walk slow. One hates his sister. The other one has mama issues. Um, same, they yeah, both are possessed. Premise. You know what I mean? It's like demonic, possessed right. and shit. Yeah, you know, it's the 80s. The whole satanic panic thing was big back then. Um, like I said, they're kind of like some copycat kind of killer and shit. But like, like I said, you're right about that, dude. I do like... I like Jason more just because like the Friday the 13th films more because of the violence, the gore, the sex in the film. You know what I mean? Everything that that wasn't really in the Halloween film. You know what right, I mean? Right, yeah. Yeah, it was just more metal, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but, um, like, the character is very similar. Like I said, it's all demonic, all this, like, I don't know. I don't know. They're both possessed, yeah, basically, right? The same, I don't know too much about the lore or why they're possessed. Um, I did hear a theory that they're kind of, like, linked to the Evil Dead series and possibly, like, that book that comes out in the Evil Dead. That's the Necronomicon or something, the Book of the Dead. Um, are you familiar with this? No, I I, I know of the, the movie you're talking about. I don't know if I've ever actually seen it. Yeah, there's a book in there, and supposedly the mom, Jason's mom, read that book to bring back Jason. Mm. Yeah, because the whole thing with Jason, I think he was like 11 or years old at the camp. He, yeah, was he kinda, drowned or yeah, something. Yeah, he was kind of like slow, a little bit slow and stuff. And... um. He was unsupervised um, at the lake. He was at the lake, and he drowned. Like, you're right. He drowned and shit. Th those two counselors were out there having sex somewhere and shit, banging and shit. And um, he drowned, and it pissed the mom off. And I think, I don't know if it closed 20 years later or some shit. Um, she's pissed that they're reopening, and she's the, the, the killer. You know what's interesting? That's a cool little fucking uh, twist to the movie. You know what I mean? It's kind of interesting knowing, like, the first film when it came out, there was really, like, no crazy killer. You just find out it was the mom the whole time. Um, I don't even remember the first one. It, do you see, it's, you you don't see, like, Jason and the machete in the first one? Nah, about? the first one, it's the mom that's the killer. Like, mm. she's, like, getting vengeance and shit, right? Um, and at the end, they kill her. And then the girl that kills her, she's just, like, it's a classic scene, bro. She's just chilling in the fucking little boat, like a canoe or something in the lake. Yeah, and out comes Jason Voorhees as a little kid and just grabs her and pulls her down and shit. He's like all fucked up, bro. I don't know. Maybe he looked like that before, but he was just all fucked up and he just grabbed her and pulled her in and shit. And that's uh -huh. Jason as a kid. Um, that's like at the very end, like the credits or some shit. And then the second film, he's back. He's older. Doesn't have his iconic hockey mask and shit. He has a bag. Like those old bags they used to put potatoes in and shit. Oh, like a burlap sack or something? something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He puts that over his head with just like one eye, like some Illuminati shit. Oh, fuck. And he's going around killing and shit like that. He doesn't have his hockey mask. He gets his hockey mask in the third film. Oh, shit. Yeah. And since, really? Since then, yeah, he has all his... And that's how everybody knows Jason is, is the, the hockey, the hockey yeah. mask. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, no, Jason was definitely my, my favorite mo movies to watch. Yeah. I don't, I don't necessarily, I would, I think I'd be more interested in the lore and background of other characters, but the movie specifically. Yeah. Well, they kind of, they kind of get the, it's like base, I guess, loosely based off these murders that really happened to these teenagers in this Lake Bodan or Bodan, yeah, Bodan, Finland. So there was like three teenagers that were killed. And I think it was, like, loosely based on it because they kind of, like, 
Like, where can we have this? Oh, let's have it at a lake. You know what I mean? Where there's like no parents around. You know what I mean? No adult supervision. And like, usually it's like teenagers. You know what I mean? So you got this dude killing a whole bunch of horny teenagers, bro. And it's fucking gory as fuck. Jason has like the greatest kill count out of all of these dudes. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a lot of people he kills. Damn. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know. It's just funny that you'll think like it's, shit's going down at a place, bro. Especially at a fucking camp. Camp Crystal Lake. Yeah. Like, why go back to that place? Like, let me ask you. If you knew something, some shit happened somewhere, bro. Would you go, like, would you go visit that place? Out of curiosity or what? I don't know if... Especially go <clears throat> camp out and shit. Yeah, no, I don't know if I necessarily would. But it's such a thing for people to go visit paranormal places. I wouldn't be surprised if it... That's true. If people still did it. Yeah, that's true, man. You know, I, I wouldn't. Fuck that. What would I've you rather do? Who would you rather stay in like in a hotel, like where you know some haunted shit was going down, somebody got killed or whatever, or in a haunted fucking forest? I would rather stay in a hotel. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, my thoughts too, man. Exactly what I would do. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Take my chances inside. Yeah. So, all right, man. So that's Jason, bro. Friday the thirteenth, and uh. Friday the 13th is like an unlucky number, right? It's, well, allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, right? Yes, yeah. Well, do you know why it's like an unlucky number? No, um... It's like a biblical thing or what? Uh, that, I don't, I don't know. I think there's only, I think one reason, it just generally, for whatever reason, the number 13 got a bad rap. Why, I don't know. I'm sure it's like you said, something biblically related. Jesus and the 12 apostles? Uh, that's 13 of them, though. No? Oh including yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then he said, like one, one of you will, or maybe it's twelve, but the thirteen one was the one that betrayed him and shit. Yeah, some, some shit like that. Maybe. Judas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, maybe he died on Friday the thirteenth. Good Friday, no? Maybe it was Friday the thirteenth that he died on. Oh yeah, and that's what, and that's the other thing too is there's not like, like good like, uh, it's one of those things where the thirteenth doesn't fall on a Friday a lot. It's like once or three times a year, I think. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, huh? Right. Yeah. It's a cool name for a film, man. Mm -hmm. Especially if something like that when it has like this little crazy whatever you want to call it behind it. All right. Uh, finally, man. My favorite. A Nightmare on Elm Street, bro. Wes Craven, a 1984 film, bro, about the Springwood slasher, uh, Frederick Charles, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger, bro. What's your thoughts about that, dude? Uh, he looked pretty scary. I, he's, I know he's such a fucking popular yeah. character. You know? I, maybe just because I like him because he's the only one that fucking talks. You know what I mean? Like, like tonight, we're the motherfuckers that are talking. Right. You know what I mean? Fuck that, dude. He talks all the fucking time. Yeah, I was about to say, because that's, that's the other thing, because the, the guy that actually played the character Freddy Krueger, yeah. he goes on, like, he goes to, like, big Comic-Cons and all that type of shit. Oh, Robert all, England. Yeah. Yeah, all yeah. the fucking time, you know? So yeah. he, he actually could have a fan base and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Fuck Most yeah. Most of the time, we don't actually know the person who played that he Jason character is. in that movie. Or yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Michael Myers, that movie. You yeah. Know, we don't We don't know we that. Don't know. And that's what kind of sucks about that character of Freddy Krueger, though. It's not going to go on. It can't really go on like these other films. They tried it with the reboot with somebody else. And people, they were not having it, bro. Um, that guy is the face, the voice. You know what I mean? Right. You're going to have to get someone that looks like him. And that's, that could be the... That could be the good and bad thing. Yeah. It could be a good thing for him, but a bad thing collect for, for, for the everybody. franchise and stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Because for him, you know... It dies when he dies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, you know until until somehow AI gets so good, oh, that shit. they can just take every bring him back interview the and movie and audio sample of him and you know put it in the system and try to you know 
Dude. Create another movie that way. That that's gonna be a thing in the future for sure. That that they're gonna be able to do. It, but the thing is, is like compared to today, you know, we have hours and hours and hours, endless of hours of you know audio things of people yeah. currently. But back in the day, like it wasn't super common to be on the radio unless you're a radio person to be on the radio or have something recorded for super long so like you know um i'm trying to think of somebody that would be a a good analogy um like rosa parks you know yeah. she wasn't you know until she got in you know until that whole situation and stuff yeah you know they would only have a good snippet of of her as opposed to like her collectively if she was younger yeah but yeah 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 they that that's a that's a good thing for him and it's a bad thing for the community because like you said when when he dies the franchise goes with it yeah yeah and then the, he's gonna be like this ai fucking freddy krueger bro like you can make an ai maybe that's the next film bro like this artificial intelligence of freddy krueger coming back and he's really fucking with reality in your dreams wherever the fuck because that's his battlefield bro the dream dream world um do you know much about the lore of freddy not really no, nah. I just know um, it's some. Uh, it's a fucked up character, bro. It's some Inception type of shit. It is fucked up. Um, well, yeah, he was a child killer. Some say like a child molester. I don't know if that's still in the fucking canon or whatever the fuck. Uh, he killed twenty kids, um, who was later like arrested, but the legal system failed and shit. I guess some, I don't know something like simple, like a signature or something, right? So he was he got off. So, the, but the parents of the kids went out and seek justice for themselves and for their kids and shit. Um, they burn his ass down inside a building, I think, bro. And um, that's why he has all the fucking scars and right. third degree burns and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So he's back, yeah, with vengeance and with third degree burns. Um, yeah, and killing teenagers in their sleep slash dreams. Uh, and he was given these supernatural powers by these trio demons. They're called the dream demons, um, whose goal is to break down the barriers between the dream world and the physical world. So that's what it basically, it's, it's these fuck. it's all these motherfuckers are possessed by demons and shit, bro. Um, I don't know. Some crazy shit. <laughs> Have you seen these Freddy movies? Like the Nightmare on Elm Street? I, to be honest, I don't even know if I've seen one of them. No. Nah? I, don't, I mean the first one, the classic I don't know. one. I don't think but, so, no. The Johnny Depp. Mm -mm. No? I don't know. I didn't even know Johnny Depp was in the series. Yeah, he's in the first one, and I think the Kevin Bacon is in the first one of Friday the 13th. Oh. And then you got Jamie Lee Curtis in the first of Halloween movie. Damn. Big stars, huh? Um. So Dreams, man, uh, the whole concept of dying in the dream world, the dreamscape, um, having a violent and fatal effect to you in the real world and shit, that shit's scary, bro. That whole plot uh, to the story is, is genius, you know? Um, uh -huh. Like, what's your thoughts on, like, on dreams and how they work and where they come from? And, is, and do you think it's possible, like, something to happen in your dreams that affects you so bad that you'll die in real life? Um... It would only be possible, like, if you had a dream that felt so lucid yeah, that you just, you know, had a heart attack. But your body, you know, in most cases, is going to prevent that from happening unless you already had an underlying condition, you know. Mm -hmm. So you, you therein have no choice but to have, a, you know, a heart attack in your sleep. Um, dreams are crazy. You die Who, of shock or some shit, huh? Yeah, I mean, you could. Or the shocker depending on you know certain variables but uh dreams are crazy yeah dreams dreams are crazy man who there's been a lot of speculation as to what are dreams and what do they mean because and a lot of them don't make you know any sense the interpretation of dreams and yeah shit. and you know so. they have all those you know dream journals and stuff i'm sure you're aware of like lucid dreaming some sigmund freud shit yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know. I just, uh, the reason why I was asking, because I heard like the concept of this where Wes Craven got the idea for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was from like, uh, he read a, an article about these uh, Asian immigrants that 
fled a refugee camp and came to the U.S. And they, I guess, died in their sleep when they were here. So I don't know. People say from PTSD, maybe whatever they came from was really bad. The conditions were really bad. Yeah. Um, they even named it at that time, too. They had a name for it called the Asian Death Syndrome. Yeah. So there was people coming from different parts of Asia coming here and dying in their sleep. So that's where he got the idea from. Like something happened and something that's so bad in their, like these nightmares, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. Affected them so bad that they, they died in their sleep and shit. Or, yeah. It would make sense. Especially, you know, who knows if you're... That's some Inception shit. In a way. In a way, yeah. Yeah. The Freddy Krueger stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah, that's some Inception type of shit for sure. Yeah. For sure, but... Um, I don't know, man. Dreams are, they're, they're crazy. Who knows? Uh, I just know your body produces like a lot of DMT whenever you dream. Yeah. So it's, uh, I shit. I bet there's, and who knows? You, you never know, you know, if, you know, if somebody dies of a heart attack that night, you know, an, an elderly person, who's to say they're not dreaming, you mm. know, during that, you know, whenever they have a heart attack. Yeah. You know, and they don't even know what's going on. You know, they're just dreaming. Like, you know what those fucked up dreams, bro? The ones that you're falling down. Like, do you remember having those dreams? Oh, yeah, yeah. For me, like, that was a, that was a big dream. Uh, like, those are fucking dream, freaky. Yeah, a dream sign for me. Like, I remember any. I knew I was dreaming anytime, like, I fell or I was trying to, like, get away. Like, I don't know... Who, what, where, when, why, but I just know I was trying to get away. And every time, like, I would, I couldn't get away and I would be, it's so funny, dude, I would be on all fours and I I couldn't, the only way for me to move was to, like, an animal grab the, you know, front, the ground in front of me yeah, and, you know, push, pull myself forward, you know, in like an animal or something. Like a doggy style. I basically <laughs> like some, you know, <laughs> some, some kind of fucking uh, yeah creature. But um, yeah, no, I knew that was one of my dream signs. Was uh, I, and it would always be grass for some reason. Anytime mm. I was trying to get away, I'd always be, you know, grabbing grass. So speaking of grass, you know what I mean? What helps you from not dreaming? Mm. Fucking weed, bro. That's the answer to it. So if you don't want Freddy to come after your ass, just smoke some weed, bro. <laughs> smoke weed Keep all smoking, day. Keep smoking because the day you stop, you're going to have some tripped out fucking dreams. And that's when Freddy's going to get you. They're going to be fucking trippy and they're going to be... Spooky. Deadly. Yeah, for sure. It could be. <laughs> so that's the answer, bro. That's the... Check yourself. Yeah, before you wreck yourself. Um, hey, real quick, I want to send a shout out to my slashers. We got uh, coming up on the list Hellraiser. Hellraiser, yeah, man, fucking Pinhead, uh, fucking the Jeepers Creepers, dude, Scream, yeah. Ghostface, Scream. Ghostface. Yeah. Um, oh. shout out to fucking um, uh, Norman Bates, uh, Prowler, Pinhead, Jigsaw, uh, shit, who else? The puppets, puppet dudes, yeah, Master of Puppets. Yeah, fuck yeah. That was a crazy movie. Have you seen that movie, The Puppets? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that movie was a trip. That puppet that would throw up leeches onto you and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and there's a guy that had like an auger, like a big giant drill for a hand. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Universal Monsters. Shout out to fucking, um, fucking Tales from the Hood. Shout out to fucking, um, Pumpkinhead. Shout out to Tales from the Crypt. Tales of the Crypt, dude. The Crypt Master. Shout out to Goosebumps. Fangoria. Yes, yep. Shout out to fucking uh, your mom, Pamela Voorhees. Shit. Um, oh, yeah, bro. Uh, who else? Shit. Um, oh, no. Shout out to Chucky. Damn, I know there's some more out there. Some more slashers. My bad. I don't know. That's it, man. Let's wrap it up. Uh, shit. Thank you all for listening. Happy Halloween. And to all my slasher homies, uh, keep cutting.